diseases of beetroot now we'll see the list of important diseases in beetroot my name is janesh shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamalai university so these are the list of important diseases in uh, beetroot so leaf spot which is caused by cercospora beticola and downy mildew which is caused by pernospora saccati and beet collie top which is a viral disease beet collie top virus and beet yellow it is also viral disease which is caused by beet yellow virus now we'll see in detail about one by one so the first one is the leaf spot which is caused by cercospora beticola the name itself indicates the leaf spots so here uh, if you see the leaves initially small spots appears on leaf small initially very small spots appears on the leaf so the size of the spots may be increases uh, in later stages it depends on the severity the size of the spots may be increases initially the sp spots look like to uh, brown to purple in color you can see brown to purple in color so we can see the brown to purple color discoloration uh, uh, i mean spots can be seen so later what will happen this brown color small in severe stages the small spots can be on the particular area where it can uh, uh, the uh, small spots can be sealed a short hole symptoms also can be observed on uh, later stages i mean in severe stages short hole symptoms can be observed in very severe case what will happen premature defoliation and death of the plants or sorry death of the leaves and dropping of the drooping of the leaves can be seen if you see uh, you know uh, a cone shaped or you know rosette of dead leaves can be seen on the base especially uh, you know in upper leaves especially on the upper leaves so uh, here uh, the older leaves uh, mainly affected if you see the mainly i mean uh, uh, defoliation will occur in uh, young leaves at the def i mean uh, and the spots can be seen on the mostly older leaves so here the major symptom is uh, uh, you know small spots like you know uh, brownish to purplish color discoloration or spots can be seen on leaves so coming to the management aspects uh, removal and destruction of the infected plants and the practicing of crop rotation will be necessary and also we can go with the fungicides like caproxy chloride 0.3% at the rate of 15 days interval can control this disease very effectively so coming to the next one uh, pernospora sorry that is the downy mildew disease which is caused by pernospora saccati so if you coming to uh, the downy mildew and beetroot is completely differ if you take the other downy mildews whereas white color downy growth can be seen on other downy mildews so if you see here so fluttering or uh, what can i say shriveling or shrinking of leaves can be seen here so initially small gray spots can be appeared but in later stages what will happen uh, what will happen completely shrinking and shriveling of leaves can be seen if you clearly observe on the lower stages i mean on the lower surface of this white color powdery growth can be observed but this yeah, but if you see this uh, we can clearly observe the shrinking or shriveling of leaves can be clearly observed here so in later stages entire inflorescence can be compacted entire inflorescence is like as should be well contained for inflorescence and it look like a witch's broom like uh, uh, symptoms right so shrinking of leaves and the white color powder growth can be seen on the lower surface so here the mainly fungi survive uh, on the crop residue so you better to grow with the crop rotation and this is also carried out by seeds you know this is a downy video so coming to the management aspects uh, field sanitation will be very very important and along with the crop rotation along with the uh, uh, resident cultivars will be required and the seed treatment with the theorem at the rate of 2 to 5 uh, 2 to 2.5 to 3 gram per kilogram of seeds can be recommended and uh, that also helps to uh, uh, you know to protect again us from the emerging uh, seedling diseases like uh, i mean downy mildews so spraying of uh, dithan z78.3% thrice at interval at the rate of 15 days uh, uh, gap can be uh, recommended to, to uh, uh, check the disease effectively so the next one is the beet collie top which is caused by beet collie top virus so the name itself indicate curling of leaves so the symptoms not only observed on leaves but also uh, stems flowers fruits and entire plant parts can be observed see we can mainly see our uh, external symptoms external symptoms are like you know as i said that uh, curling of leaves and as well as uh, the symptoms can also be seen on leaves i mean not only leaves but also stems flowers and uh, fruits so here um, the collie top uh, uh, this collie top virus can uh, can also reduce the size of the plant or stunting of the plants and along with yield also greatly affected these are all the external symptoms so other external symptoms like distortion curling twisting and rolling of leaves can be seen we know very well that the name itself indicates collie top so curling of leaves mainly can be seen so the curling of leaves has other names like twisting curling something i mean uh, rolling something like that so if you see the internal symptoms so the i mean uh, the food conducting vessels so completely destroyed and along with the size of the cells in comparison with the healthy tissues also can be greatly reduces so that disease is mainly transmitted by beet leaf hopper this is a beet leaf hopper so if we control this beet leaf hopper then we can effectively check this disease 
so coming to the management aspects uh, sanitation will be definitely required and along with uh, uh, destruction and removal of weeds also one of the management practices and uh, um a regulation of uh, regulation the time and planting in order to avoid the main flights of the beet leaf hopper so you better to go with some if there is any a uh, border crops are available for uh, uh, check this uh, effective i mean effective uh, transfer or effective flying of this uh, uh, beet leaf hopper you better to go with that and then also go with uh, some traps uh, uh, like insect traps also are there so better to go with some insect traps for uh, uh, coming to the chemical aspects uh, spraying of malathion which is an insecticide 2 ml per liter of water can control uh, Uh, effectively uh, it can be a beet leaf hopper can effectively controlled by the spraying of malathion so you go with this uh, spraying at uh, as a last option so the next one is the beet yellows which is caused by beet yellows virus so the name itself indicate yellowing of leaves we can clearly see fluttering and yellowing of leaves is the uh, characteristics i mean uh, main symptoms at the initial stages at the young stages so we can see clearly here see so yellowing of leaves like alternate green and yellowing of uh, leaves Uh, can be seen and especially fluttering of leaves like you know uh, uh, like uh, you know so what can we say like something like a, a little shrinking of a midrib region can be seen here so the older leaves a uh, uh, older leaf of the plants become uh, chlorotic and you know thick and leathery uh, what can i say brittle as a so that shrinking of especially at midrib region can be seen uh, so mostly if you see from the distance uh, abnormal red color uh, variations along with uh, mixing with uh, Uh, abnormal red color symptoms along with mixing with yellow color uh, uh, discolorations can be clearly observed if we see from the distance so this disease is mainly transmitted by aphids uh, there are many species of aphids that we know very well that black aphids are normal aphids so this is mainly uh, transmitted by uh, aphids so if we check the transmission of aphids then we can control effectively so coming to the management aspects uh, remove the weeds and you know uh, remove the infected plants and as well as the weeds i if there is any uh, weeds are there in near the pla- um, near the field you, uh, you better to go with the removal of that and then uh, so if you want to uh, minimize the uh, population of uh, population of um, you know insect that is aphids you better to go with uh, spraying of uh, oxydemeton methyl uh, at the rate of 20 25% is at the rate of uh, 2 ml per liter of water can effectively check this uh, insect so that we can effectively control the disease so coming to the aerosol net uh, we might expect causal organisms uh, or maybe uh, you know uh, insects transmission of insects the, uh, there there might be a chance so better to concentrate on the insects